The Owen James Report is brought to you by Grace Kennedy. This program is brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care. Grace Kennedy Money Services has been here for you and your family, here and abroad, because we understand that you're receiving more than money. You're receiving their love. Grace Kennedy Financial Group has been here for you because we know it's more than just investments, insurance, or banking. It's about security and creating a path to realizing your dreams. For 90 years, honesty, integrity, and trust. The Grace Kennedy Group, we choose to care. Good evening, this is the Orange James Report. Jamaica has slipped five places to 90 in the World Bank's 2014 Ease of Doing Business Report, which measures the economies of 189 countries globally. So what's responsible for this fall? Disaggregated data from the 2014 Ease of Doing Business Report, which is effective as at June this year, shows that despite significant improvements in paying taxes, the island fell short in four major areas, getting electricity, getting business credit, trading across borders, and resolving insolvency, the last named to be corrected via upcoming insolvency legislation. Now, getting electricity proved quite debilitating in terms of the island's ease of doing business rankings as the subgrouping fell by 13 points. In the Caribbean, Jamaica ranks 8 of 12 countries in the region's ease of doing business rankings. St. Lucia tops the region in terms of ease of doing business, followed by Trinidad and Tobago, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Bahamas, Barbados, and Jamaica in 8th place. Regionally, only 4 countries are below Jamaica. And these are St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Now, globally, Singapore tops the 189 countries surveyed by the World Bank in terms of the ease of doing business. The other nine economies in the top ten are Hong Kong, New Zealand, the United States, Denmark, Norway, the United Kingdom, South Korea, Georgia, and Australia. News on the Jamaican stock market now, and despite losers outperforming winners by 15 to 7, an 8% gain by Blue Chip Scotia Group triggered advances in the indices. The main JC index advanced by 508 points, or 3 tenths of 1%. Winners included Siboney up 66%, Gleena, Jamaica Broilers, JMMB, and Scotia Group up 8.3%. The losers included Caribbean Cement, down 6.4%, DNG, Mayberry the Day's Big Loser, down 13.6%, NCB, Radio Jamaica, Sagicor Investments, and Scotia Investments. Finally, on the foreign exchange market, the Jamaican dollar strengthened slightly against the American and the Canadian dollars, but weakened against sterling. In other words, the American and the Canadian dollars weakened against the local currency, whilst the British pound strengthened. In actual trading, the greenback declined by two Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $105.04, whilst the Canadian dollar lost three cents Jamaican to close at $100.79. The British pound strengthened by 47 cents Jamaican to close at $170.65. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Grace this program was brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care.